Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we will be again looking into the second part of Spring Boot Aspect Oriented Programming Interview Questions. In the first part of this video, we have seen how to implement an aspect which is a cross-cutting concern of logging which is going to cut through multiple layers of web service including the controller layer, service layer and many more. So when you have a web application, then aspect we can have multiple cross-cutting concerns like logging, security, caching maintenance. All these things can be created as a separate aspect which is a cross-cutting concern to all these web application layers. Today we will be looking at some theory part of it and the remaining type of advices like at the rate return, at the rate throwing and at the rate around. Remember one thing, whenever it comes to types of advices in AOP, the most important and the most powerful advice is at the rate around. We will see all those scenarios where this at the rate around will be very helpful. So we'll be seeing the live demo of all the remaining three aspects also in this video. Apart from that, we will be covering multiple join point examples, cross cutting concerns, the ways of implementing cross cutting concerns, what is the advantage, what is the disadvantage and many more interview questions. So let's get started. Please like, share, subscribe and comment so that this video reaches to more of the people who are preparing for interviews like you. Let's quickly start with aspect oriented programming. So it was a programming paradigm aiming to segregate your cross cutting functions such as logging, caching, security management from your business logic in an application. So here we have segregated the logging part from the business logic that is employee service and from the controller logic of handling the request from responses. So this is how these are the cross cutting concerns. These are cutting through multiple layers of web application. So that is why it's called cross cutting concerns. Now Spring Boot applications are mainly having three layers, the web layer or the controller layer, the business layer to handle the business logic or the service layer and the data layer for the persistence. Currently, we have simple one that is why we have just one interface otherwise we might have multiple repository IMPL with multiple at the rate query to implement multiple kind of CRUD operations to database. So each layer is having different responsibilities and there are some common aspects. So what is common aspect in service layer, controller layer that we want to log everything we do in these layers. So logging becomes the common functionality of all these layers like logging, security, validations, cache management, etc. So these common aspects are cross-cutting concerns. AOP has interceptors. So the next question can be how AOP runs these loggings just before, after or around the join point. Answer is it's through interceptors. Remember, aspect oriented programming is all about interception. It intercepts all your applications, methods, execution and will apply the point cut expression wherever that particular join point is going to occur and just before or after that will execute your advice. So it's nothing but an interception. This is similar to the spring security filters who intercepts each and every request going through the filters, the security filters. So it's similar to that it intercepts each and every join point execution or each and every method execution of the point cut expression. Now let's see the terminologies of AOP. First is aspect. Aspect as you can see is a complete class. This everything here is aspect which is defined as a component also so that Spring can understand that it has to create a bean and execute these advices. So aspect is a class in which we define advices and point cuts. So these are the point cuts, these are the advices. So remember a whole class is aspect the method is advice. The expression that you write with this annotation before, after, around or these are point cut. This point cut evaluates to something called as join point. So every method in the employee controller part is a join point. This complete expression is a point cut. This method is an advice. This class is a spec. Simple. Four simple terminologies and, and your AOP finishes here. Aspect, advice, point cut, join point. A whole class is aspect, every method is advice, these are four advices. The expression that you write here is a point cut. It defines at which join point your advice should be applied. And join point is just a execution of flow where aspect can be plugged in. So join point is nothing but this, a place where in your web layers where this aspect has to be applied. Before or after or around depends upon your advice. 
simple now types of advices we have seen at the rate before at the rate after what does at the rate before advice do it advises that executes before the join point can proceed to execute so whenever it goes to employ controllers any method before this a proxy is created and it says just before you start evaluating line number 22 evaluate before advice it executes just before the join point starts execution but it does not have ability to prevent the execution the method will for sure get executed you cannot stop this fetch all employee method from executing it doesn't have this much power it did before doesn't have this much power to stop the execution but it has only this power to execute just before that join point executes now you will ask me who has this power to stop the execution that is at the rate around that is why i say at the rate around is one of the most powerful advices that we will be seeing here i'm going to write the code for advices remaining advices here just just bear with me for some time next is at the rate after at the rate after is the advice that executes regardless of by which means the join point exits it's a normal execution or exceptional return so it says at the rate after the employee controllers any method is done execution so here as soon as just after you return at line number 22 after this your proxy is created and hence your at the rate after will be executed regardless of the fact that you might return an employee or you might return an exception also so even if it is try catch it doesn't matter even if it throws an exception it doesn't matter for sure your expect after execution will be working also it doesn't have any capability to show you the exception here it is just the capability to run just after the method has ended be it in any way with exception or without exception it doesn't matter so these were two simple advices now we have two another advices after returning and after throwing after returning to be executed after join points completes normally it will not be called if there is an exception there while at the rate after throwing this advice will be executed if method exits with an exception and not the normal one i'll be implementing both i'll be showcasing both to you now so we have at the rate after returning and i need to execute this in the point cut at a join point where i'm going to add an employee so this is specific to not all methods but to one method that is add an employee we'll come back to this point cut expression again now the method name can be after returning advice for add employee service now after returning successfully it will also return you an employee object right here we can say that the business logic to save an employee run successfully and employee is saved with id simple so this is at the rate after returning will also have at the rate after throwing same on the add method i i want to execute this advice so after throwing advice this join point will not have an employee now rather it will have an exception now so business logic to save an employee through an exception and what is that exception exception dot get message simple so these two point cut expressions will work on employee service now in employee service i can have a logic that business logic that if e dot get name dot size or length is greater than 5 suppose a business logic says your employee name should not be having a size greater than 5 then if it is there then throw an exception saying sorry please reduce size of your name doesn't sounds sensible enough but anything can be the business logic so this is going to throw a new exception please reduce the size of your name it's going to throw an exception and the problem is that this is also going to have so either we can use the try catch or you can use the throws so i'm going to use throws as of now now in the expect these two methods will not be called together either the return will be called when add is successful or the throw will be called when you will be throwing an exception so when this executes then after throw advice will be running and if just this line executes then after returning advice will be executed so if you go to advice what should be the flow when you add an employee so first with an add an employee part a call goes to controller first so first this will be printed the controller layer before advice 
of adding an employee is run. Then before advice for adding an employee for service is run. After returning or after will be running. And if there is an exception, then after throwing will be the one who is going to execute. So let's first run, try running this and see if there is an exception. We'll fix that, else we will see how it works. One thing which is left here is after returning is going to return you an employee. So in the point cut, you should use returning. So comma returning. And what it should return? It should return an employee. So it's going to return you this employee object. And while throwing, it's going to have a throwing. And what it's going to throw? It's going to throw you an exception. So this was the extra parameter you have to add to your point cut expression to make it after throwing and after returning work properly. It seems perfectly fine and this is started. Now let's try to add an employee. Currently we have three employees added. Now when I'll be adding the fourth employee with name as EMP4, the ID will be 4 for that now. So EMP4 will be added with the ID 4 which I'm not going to pass because it's going to be taken explicitly from the Hibernate sequence next value 4. So let's try this. Let's execute and let's see whether it's in debug mode. Yes, it's in debug mode. Let's go there. So first what is called? Because employee controller is going to be called for add employee. Just before that you have an at the rate before for the employee controllers every method. Hence at the rate before advice of controller is called. Then before advice of service is called because just after the controller of add employee the next thing that is called is this. So once that is done, now the real logic of add employee is called and after returning, you will have at the rate after and at the rate after returning advice is getting called. So since your name dot length, e dot name is emp4, which is the of length 4, which is not greater than 5. So it will not throw you an exception, rather it will return you. So yes, it is going to return you properly and just after returning, at the rate after returning is called because just after returning you have a point cut after returning. Now this after returning is going to have the one which is saved. So 4 and EMP4 is going to get returned to you. So after returning says business logic to save range successfully and employee saved with ID4. And after this your after advice of employee controller is called. So you can see that the flow goes to controller, then to service and hence at the rate before of employee service is called, then service method is executed, then business logic to save is called, after returning is called, then request to service layer is called, that means at the rate after is executed and then controller is where it ended. So the order of execution is at the rate before of controller, at the rate before of service, at the rate after returning of service, at the rate after of service and then at the rate after of employee control. So remember if you have at the rate after and at the rate after returning, the just next will be called as after returning and then after is called. So this can also be a very important interview question as to which is called first if you have both at the rate after and at the rate after returning. The answer is that after returning is called first as an advice and at the rate after advice is called after at the rate after returning. Remember this. Let's first also see one demo of at the rate throwing also that is also left. So let me do one thing. Let me add an employee with now a name of EMP LOYE5. Now what will happen here when you try to add employee 5 the size is greater than 5 then it will going to throw you an exception. So how will this work now? Let me clear the console for you. So first controller execution of at the rate before, then at the rate before of service, then exception is going to be thrown. So after throwing, then at the rate after of service and then at the rate after of controller. So this is how your at the rate after and at the rate throwing will be executed. Let's see this in running now. Let's quickly debug it. So as expected, what is called first at the rate before of controller. Now after that at the rate before of service. After that a service is called. But here the name length is greater than 5. So it's going to throw an exception. So it's going to throw an exception. Just after throwing an exception, what, what happens? 
एट दैट आफ्टर थ्रोइंग एनोटेशन इज एग्जीक्यूटेड और एडवाइस इज एग्जीक्यूटेड just at the rate after is executed for service and just after it at the rate after of controller is executed so this is the flow when it comes to at the rate after throwing advice comes so first a request at the rate before of employee controller at the rate before of employee service then business logic gets executed then exception occurs and the business logic to save your employee that means at the rate after throwing is executed so at line number 3 at the rate after throwing is executed then at the rate after of service at the rate after of controller that's it so if you have at the rate after and at the rate throwing who will get priority at the rate after throwing will get priority it will throw you an exception it will also print your exception because here i have exception dot get message so here you can see please reduce the size of your name this is the exception that we have added in the service layer same is here in the next video we will be seeing at the rate around advice which is the most important advice in the aop we will see how at the rate around can stop an execution of a join point yes there can be a possibility that you have add employee method but due to some reason you don't want to call it so you can do that with at the rate around you can manipulate what is returned to client from the at the rate around advice you can also manipulate how many times that method is called you can call it 0 1 or n number of times all le legal and legit calls you can also manipulate what parameters you pass to that particular method so you can see how powerful at the rate advice is and most of the interview questions might lie around this particular at the rate around advice so in the next video we will be seeing at the rate around all these scenarios i have to cover multiple multiple scenarios and also all the interview questions related to remaining topics like weaving internal working of aop with weaving and proxy advantages of aop disadvantages of using aop in your project and many more so if you want me to cover though all these things just let me know in the comment section i'll create the third part of it or else i'll move to another topic thank you